Hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome to Rasayan Academy, all of you. So guys, in this very short video, we are going to discuss some really important topic that is NGT, right? So why am I making this video right now? Because I want you all to see this example. Because just in case these examples are asked in your examination, there is always a question on NGT, right? And if it is asked, you will be able to know and do the question correctly. Four mark questions are being asked on this concept of NGP, right? So, what is so important about this? NGP comes under SN1 and SN2 reaction only. That is substitution on a saturated carbon. It is neighboring group participation. Okay. So, in this particular video, we are going to see that which molecules will do NGP and what are the kind of questions which are asked. Multi-dimensional questions are being asked on the same concept. Okay. So, yeah. Let's start. Let's see the Let's see the example that who is going to do NGP first of all, right? So first thing, guys, I'm going to see that the acetoxy group does very nice NGP CH3 COO. This is the acetoxy group, and we have plenty of examples of acetolysis. All right, and many other examples uh, where the acetoxy group is seen doing NGP. So one of the example, let's consider. Is going to be like this. That I have two molecules of the two isomers of the same molecule, right? Cis and trans isomers. Let's say this is a molecule over here, which is having the acetoxy group OCOCH3 trans to the OTS. This is molecule A, and similarly, similar to this molecule, I have one more where the OTS and the acetoxy, they are both on the same side. That is the cis molecule. So isomers of each other, both of these are right. So what happens is, guys, is there going to be any difference in the reactivity because of the stereochemistry of these two? Absolutely, there will be. So what are we considering, guys? We are considering acetolysis or any other solvolysis example. In the acetolysis, we take sodium acetate plus acetic acid combination. Okay, so this combination we are going to take now. How is it going to be, guys? Who is going to react fast? Who is going to react slow? Let's see. So first of all, just giving you a little idea about how the reactivity is going to be. The rate constant for this uh, particular uh, first one for option number A, 1.9 into 10 raised to minus 4 second inverse. This is the rate constant of the first one. Rate constant of the second molecule is 2.9 into 10 raised to minus 7 second inverse. Why is that so? Who is slower? This one is slower. Why is it slow, guys? Because if you just draw the cyclohexane conformation, you'll see that the OTS and the acetoxy, both of them are on the same side. And never you're going to do NGP when they are on the same side. Okay. So, when the external acetate nucleophile is going to attack this molecule, it is going to be an axial attack and it replaces the OTS. It gives you the inversion product. Okay, it is going to give you just a simple inversion product like this OAC, OAC, diaxial product, inversion product you are going to get. So, this is a slower reaction because it's a simple SN2 reaction. NGP will try to make the reaction fast, but is it always going to make the reaction fast? That we will see. We have plenty of examples to discuss, right? So in this case, let's see what's happening, guys. You are having a OTS over here below the plane and the acetate. But can we do can we do NGP in this particular conformation? Absolutely not. You cannot do NGP in this particular conformation. So I am going to write the diaxial one. So in the diaxial conformation, you can do the NGP. I have just uh, flipped this molecule into this one. What happens is now the acetoxy, the carbonyl of the acetoxy is going to push away the OTS. And then it is going to, as you can see, it is going to make an intermediate in this way. All right, there's a positive on this oxygen. So what happens is, guys, now when the external nucleophile, let's say the acetate or any other molecule, when it is going to attack over here, the bond opens up 
and because of neighboring group participation the reaction is always going to be faster in this scenario all right so reaction is faster because of the neighboring group participation what is the product product is retention product okay you are going to get retention product that is in this way one acetate above another <clears throat> so you had the trans molecule you end up with the trans molecule and in the first one you had a cis molecule but then you end up with the trans molecule so that is retention and inversion okay the so first example of ngp discussed over here let's see guys more example of ngp who else can do ngp so we also have a carbon carbon double bond which does ngp you have plenty of uh, questions like these in your examination what are we going to see guys you will see the effect of ngp on different molecules like these okay first of all you have an ots uh, removable group on this uh, carbon apex carbon so what are we going to do we are just going to compare different molecules different molecules we are going to compare with the first one right so we have no double bond over here in the second we have a double bond on the same side as the ots in the third one we have a double bond on the opposite side as ots and in the fourth one we have two double bonds like this okay so what is going to be the rate of solvolysis for all of these reactions with solvolysis i can i want to do i can do hydrolysis methanolysis acetolysis whichever is given in your question that doesn't matter that doesn't depend on the nucleophile depends on the existing molecule so relative rate of the reaction i'll take one for this particular molecule yes now with respect to this what is the rate of reaction of the second one it is 10 raised to 4 times faster faster than the first one similarly this is 10 raised to 11 times faster than the first one and the last is 10 raised to 14 times faster than the first one so this is the uh, order of the rate constant and looking at the rate constant we can see which is the faster reaction this is the faster why is that so guys once again we have the question why so ngp requires anti periplinarity this is extremely important what is anti periplinarity guys anti periplinar situation is when you are having a 180 degree difference okay so when i say that i have some group uh, doing the ngp that must be opposite to the leaving group why is that so because here the double bond is doing ngp so the pi bond is going to put the electron density into sigma star orbital of the carbon oxygen bond which has to break from over here and that is why it is faster why is it still faster than this because when the ots leaves it is going to give you a carbocation even though there is no ngp over here but the carbocation which is formed is going to be a non classical carbocation like this resonance stabilized in the norbornil system so because of the stability of carbocation you get this 10 raised to 4 times faster than one because of the perfect ngp position you get 10 raised to 11 times faster uh, than the first one and here you have both the possibility of ngp as well as carbocation stability that is why it is the faster okay so anti periplinarity is also a necessary condition which is proved by this example third example guys who else can do ngp yes there is uh, there are many different molecules or functional groups which can do ngp and a most frequently asked one is a phenyl ring a phenyl ring can also do ngp let's see the example so first one i am just going to draw a simple uh, molecule let's say it is uh, this is how it is asked in the examination okay so you have uh, one ph over here let's say you have a let's say you have b over here and this is also a and this is also b for example right so what happens is the phenyl ring is going to attack on this x and then it is going to give you this kind of there is inversion on this center so b and a are just going to come down as it is 
and that is going to give you the phenonium ion in this. All right. Always remember that whenever you are having the phenyl ring. Okay. So whenever you have the phenyl ring, it is going to attack by a double bond like this, and one of the carbon gets a positive charge. Always form the three-membered intermediate. Now, based on the intermediate, guys, what is the stereochemistry of the intermediate? Is uh, going to predict the number of or the type of products. What are the type of product? What do I mean by that? That is. You have the ring opening possibility from two of these sides. The nucleophile, may that be acetate or any other nucleophile, that can open the ring from two of these sides. Okay. So when you see that there is a sigma plane of symmetry, when the both the substituents are on the same side, you have a sigma plane of symmetry in this intermediate. You will say that the two products which are forming are enantiomers. They are enantiomers to each other. Okay, you don't have to draw the whole product. They are going to be enantiomers. And when you see, when you see that the molecule has, let's say this is a uh, you know intermediate of a different molecule, phenonium ion of a different molecule. So when the molecule intermediate has a C2 axis, just like in this one, you you can rotate the molecule. If it has a C2 axis, the two Ring opening possibilities are going to give you identical molecule or homomers. Okay, so this is also very frequently asked in your examination, and uh, yes, very very important once again. So let's see fourth type of molecule which can do the NGP is your hetero atom NGP by hetero atom. So the heteroatom like halogens, uh, all right, they can be doing NGP heteroatom like oxygen. So I'm talking about the heteroatom in the ring that can also do NGP. But is it going to increase the rate of reaction? Does NGP always increase the rate of reaction? Let's see that. So I'm putting an oxygen over here in this case, and in the second case, I am putting an oxygen over here. And in the final case, final example, I'm putting an oxygen over here. So what is the result, guys? If we are just uh, considering the relative rate constant, then we will see we will consider this one as a standard. And with respect to this molecule, the first one is going to be really, really slow. 0 0.0014. That is really slow. Even if this is doing NGP, it is really slow. Why is that so? Because it results into a very unstable intermediate, a three-membered ring formation. So that's why it is very slow as compared to first one. The next is 0.14. That is, although this is also unstable, gives you a four-membered intermediate, but it is less stable than this. All right, and the last one, guys. If you are doing NGP over here, it's going to give you one, two, three, four, and five, five-membered stable ring, and that is why the rate constant for this particular reaction is so high, 4.84 into 10 raised to 4, as compared to this one. All right, so this is extremely, extremely important that we recognize that NGP does not always increase the rate of reaction. Sometimes it might hinder the reaction also. Uh, depends on the stability of the intermediate too. Okay. So yes, these are the four examples, important examples of NGP. Now what I want you to do is, this is question number one. I'll show you some previous year questions. Just try them by yourself. We will discuss the answers in the next video. Okay. So here it is, question one, question two asked in June 2014, then question three asked in June 2015, question four asked in December 2017, question five asked in June 2018, question six in gate 2014, and question seven in gate 2015 next and the last question is question 8 asked in gate 2020 all of these are based on neighboring group participation so it is a very important concept which might fetch you marks 
in the last minute okay so it's not going to harm you to practice all of these questions i'm going to see you all in another video guys bye everyone and also watch out all the name reactions and all the other important videos so take care all of you keep practicing